Hello everyone, this is Christoph here from Intech Studio and today I'm going to talk about the new DIY options we have and how the whole thing came around. So Grid has a repairable design. The four screws on the sides are on the top, they aren't hidden. So it's really like an invitation to open up your, de open up your device and even maybe repair it for yourself. Uh, part of our warranty program, if you have like uh, some problems with the main motherboard or just the connection of the sides, then we either send you a new motherboard as a replacement or the side interface boards. Basically, that's it how you open up a module. And uh, what we have here is a design without glue. This repairable design with the components available is easier on the planet. We have to ship some smaller parts and it's easier for you because you don't have to wait for a long uh, return and repair program. We have listed these parts on our shop as well, each of the unique motherboards for the modules, the base which comes pre-installed with the side magnets and the interface board small magnet right there. Then we also have these interface boards for the sides of the modules. You can find the repair guide and how the module is basically assembled on our documentation site. But yeah, as you can see, no glue is being used here to just press fit in one of these interface boards. And these interface boards are held in place with the press fit motherboard. Sorry, for the time being, we don't stock uh, separately the metal front panels and the user interface knobs and fader caps for the controllers. So you can either opt in for the DIY aesthetic um, with the motherboards separately or by the full module. What you can also do is if you have access to a 3D printer or have a friend who has one, then we are listing on our GitHub pages some module bases. So basically, this is what you can find on our GitHub pages. Um, what we have here is a simple 3D printable uh, module housing, which will essentially hold in place one of these motherboards. You can like fit in a unit like this. Yeah, this was my first time doing this. And then you can press in the utility side button with the help of this little 3D printed feature. And essentially you have a fully functioning MIDI controller uh, with the protection of a small 3D printed feet. And you are ready to go to use it with the grid editor and the DAW software. And even if that's your thing, you can start to hack it and get into the firmware code and uh, Bruce are open source repositories related to Grid. Another cool feature of this uh, 3D printed section is that you can even uh, put them together. There is a small plastic piece uh, which can be put down here into the base and then you can play these together and you have like two controllers. For example, we have a couple of these various uh, potentiometer and fader caps lying around in the office space, which we use for testing. These can be easily acquired or purchased at your local electronics store. You can find various colors and uh, you can really give a custom DIY vibe for your controller built this way. Before me, now I also have the developer kit listed on the site as well, uh, which I mentioned can be used for firmware development. Uh, this little board should make uh, your jump start into the firmware hacking part of Grid easier. It's uh, basically used to program the microcontrollers directly, have some debug accessibility and uh, yeah, do some firmware stuff. I'm not the electrical engineer on the project, so I can't tell you more about this one. But what you get is this board, um, um, Bluetooth antenna because the grid units have this little Bluetooth 
thingy. Um, we still have to add more RAM to the modules, it seems, so it can be fully utilized, but, but uh, we are already experimenting with options how the Bluetooth functionality could be brought into the ecosystem. But it's available for hacking for sure. Then some jumpers to make sure you can quickly connect up your MCU on the motherboard to this development board. Not only the firmware can be hacked, but the grid editor is also extensible if you have some knowledge in web development tools like Node.js and JavaScript. We have like these packages within the grid editor and you can already find some open source packages which we are working on as InterStudio. These are like the Adobe Photoshop integration, an Ableton integration, then the Discord and Spotify packages. This can be used as a starting point for your own projects and uh, you can basically uh, add your own twist how these controllers uh, should be utilized in a daily workflow. So these units, function-wise, are essentially the same like our fully built controllers. You're only missing here the interfacing, so that's th something to consider. But you can plug it in and use it within our grid editor software and have access to all of the MIDI customization features or even the code-related um, stuff which we offer for grid controllers. If you get stuck with any of the DIY-related stuff or you are confused with any parts of this video, please drop us a mail at support at intech.studio or visit the forum, forum.intech.studio or join in the Discord server which we are running and try to be as active as possible. There is also like a developer channel which you can join and ask your heavily development related questions or even participate in the GitHub issues on the grid editor, the grid firmware or one of the open source packages which we are building. Thanks for sticking with me in this video and see you in the next one. Bye.